He's suffering with a tailbone injury. So Temple coming out with a new look, trying to snap a two-game losing streak. They lost their last game at SMU by one on Wednesday. And Damian Dunn will get a lot of attention from the stingy Memphis defense. There's the defense making their fed presence felt already. A turnover. Look at the starting lineup for Memphis. Hendrick Davis, DeAndre Williams, those are the two that lead the way for Memphis. They're still without Alex Lomax, Malcolm Dandridge. They're hoping to get those two guys back soon. Well, Keontae Kennedy number one. Get ready for a huge American Athletic Conference tilt right now. Our officials today, Anthony Jordan, Michael Roberts, Brian Dorsey, we could see history. Kendrick Davis with the ball in his hands, 23 points away from being the all-time leading scorer in American Conference history. Memphis coming out wearing the home gray, Temple wearing the road black. This is Elijah the captain going one-on-one, -on -one. his shot off the mark. For Temple, a little different starting lineup. Damian Dunn will get the start instead of Jaleel White. He's suffering with a tailbone injury. So Temple coming out with a new look, trying to snap a two-game losing streak. They lost their last game at SMU by one on Wednesday. And Damian Dunn will get a lot of attention from the stingy Memphis defense. There's the defense making their fed presence felt already. A turnover. Look at the starting lineup for Memphis. Hendrick Davis, DeAndre Williams, those are the two that lead the way for Memphis. They're still without Alex Lomax, Malcolm Dandridge. They're hoping to get those two guys back soon. Well, Keontae Kennedy, number one. And Silver for Memphis has been on fire the last six games. Keep it on him as the third option. There he is. Here's Williams. Takes a peek at the shot clock. It's at three. Hand in his face. DeAndre Williams looks at the crowd. That's how we get the party started. That was over John Cooch. He's got a huge wingspan. What a shot by DeAndre Williams. A rainbow three. Sear Miller, another one of those guys who's been banged up, but it doesn't matter. Dealing with an ankle rattles into three. Sear Miller is so critical to the success of Temple today, especially managing this game against this up-tempo Tiger offense. Got it. From the corner, that one rattles out. Nick Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's another guy who's banged up. He's dealing with a back injury. This is kind of that time of year. Everyone's yeah. playing with bumps and bruises. You're either hurt or you're injured. If you're injured, you're sitting. If you're hurt, you're still playing. Take a contested two and nail it. Five-three start here for Temple. Sear Miller is such a great leader on this team, and one thing he's had to do is become more verbal and become more of a leader, especially for this team that sometimes sees some droughts as to where the ball goes to. What a crossover, getting to his spot, Kendrick Davis. Now 21 points away from becoming the all-time leading scorer in American history. The only player in the nation to be top 10 in scoring and assists. Unreal season for Kendrick Davis. Here's Dunn, his runner off the mark, Williams at the board. Kendrick Davis is not just putting up player of the year numbers in the American national type numbers. He's been dominant. Off the hand of Keo Akabundu and Yogu. And an early turnover. Second time you face a team, what's the key? Memphis got the close win first time around, but second time around, what's the key here? Well, I think for Temple, it's, it's about psychologically coming back off the last two losses. They lost to Houston. We were there last week in Philadelphia. Went on the road, lost a heartbreaker to SMU. So it's really about getting your psyche in line with what the expectation today is as Jordan knocks down the three ball. Nick Jordan in the last meeting on January 15th had 16 points, 10 rebounds. He can be a factor inside and outside for Temple. For John from Memphis, it's really about attack mode, getting up and down 94 feet. That's where they are most comfortable, especially in this building. Kendrick Davis is that engine. You see him getting doubled, and that's John Cooch. Little too much body commits the foul.
and Penny Hardaway in his fifth season as the head coach here for Memphis. He said early on the key for them defensively was guarding Damian Dunn. He got going in the first meeting. So, but when his team is healthy, they are dominant. And Temple goes zone now out of the timeout. Five Temple lead here. We played almost four minutes here in Memphis. Done. Getting the start today. Trying to go to work. Keep an eye on number four inside. Reynolds is a big body. Done his first shot off the mark. Here's Williams. Williams at his side at 6'9. He can bring it up. He's trying to go end to end right now. He can be a distributor. Takes it with the left. Just goes off the rim. And we saw Temple last weekend in the loss to Houston and Jameel Reynolds number four inside was such a big target for Temple who's coming off the injury three games ago. There he is. Durant inside with a two-handed flush. The assist to Reynolds. And Jameel Reynolds really makes a difference. He's a big space eater inside. He also has really good hands and good court vision. Good passer by the big guy. For a Super Bowl Sunday, this is a pretty good crowd here at the FedEx Forum. Trying to get Memphis off of this slow start. Here's Williams. Pull up. Off the window is good. Well, that's just sweet. Watching DeAndre Williams navigate the mid-range and off the glass. Old school basketball by DeAndre Williams. DeAndre Williams has 20 straight games where he scored in double figures. Doubled is Reynolds. Trying to dribble out of it. There's the turnover. Davis going one on one with Dunn. And a block is called on. Temple's done. Two shots, guys. Our first time out on the floor when we come back. Great role models and part of our history as well in the American. More Black History Storytelling and Coverage stream, the Black History Always collection on ESPN+. Plus. Now, Mark, we had a great conversation before the game with Aaron McKee and Petty Hardaway about the Tyree Nichols situation. you got to address it. You're here in Memphis. It happened just a month ago. And Coach Hardaway told me, he said, it happens so much that our guys are almost numb to this. And I told them, you know, you got to remind them, be respectful of officers. If you get pulled over, keep your hands on the wheel. It's sad you have to have that conversation. And Aaron McKee said, what you love and hate about sports is that look at this arena. Everybody comes together, but when you leave, everyone leaves and goes their separate ways. You know, John, I also had a chance to talk to Alex Lomax about that same thing, and he actually works with young kids in the community as to how to be respectful in those tough conversations that we see the shot clock violation for Temple right there. But Alex Lomax, who's been injured, you've chronicled that, but very much, much of a fabric of this community here in Memphis and a real leader of young people. Aaron McKee, he keeps it real with his dudes. He tells them, you are lucky to be a part of this team because when you get out there in the world, it is a cold world. Remember, you have a, honor, a, a responsibility, and it is an honor to be a part of this Temple team. 10-8 start for the hours. And Temple staying with that zone, and Memphis seems a little bit confused against it. It's Hardaway off the bench, Ronnie Williams. Penetrating through the D, going one on three. DeAndre Williams ties the game at 10. That's experienced by DeAndre Williams getting to the dead spot of that zone just below the free throw line. I'd like to see more cutters rolling through there, and Williams would be a really good option in that space. Roll, they missed him. Battle into the game for the first time for Temple. Didn't even get a touch. Davis finding some space. Nobody wanted that rebound. Baylor did. Our officials are going to come together, and they initially called a foul, but overruled. A jump ball is called. Possession arrow goes to Temple. Yeah, the officials right away come together, and that is a steal. Yep, there's dual possession here, but in real time, that's a steal. But it's called a jump ball, and so we'll roll.
you think these two teams uh, are going to exchange Christmas cards anytime soon? Probably not. We're thinking Christmas? Oh, I'm always in Christmas. Wow. Card. Always. Right. I'd say more Valentine's cards, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe some chocolates. I don't see many of these guys dating. Valentine's Day. I don't know what they do in their personal life. X with the turnaround. Aria Franklin trying to push the pace. Davis will slow things down for Memphis. And a turnover as Aaron McKee's trying to rally his guys, saying, come on, come on. There's that one, two, two press for Memphis. Nine seconds to bring it across half court. That's when you know your press was effective. Reach in foul called against Davis. Referees trying to tighten things up, get control of this one. You can always feel February. The call's a little bigger, the reactions are a little bit more demonstrative. Tight race, the American trying to keep pace with Houston. Both these teams need this win in a big way today. Especially think about Memphis. Memphis just added back into the field, according to our ESPN Joe Lenardi. Every win this time of year is so critical when you're putting together your resume. John Cooch on the block, backing down his man. The lefty hook shot goes. Well, whenever John Cooch scores, that is just great news for the Temple Owls. Temple back in the man to man. This possession switching defense has been effective. Lowering the shoulder and an offensive foul called against Franklin. Temple with a two-point lead. We got a good one here. With Kendrick Jr. is paramount to Kendrick. And we've seen his growth, his maturity, and obviously he's playing the best basketball of his life as well. Pretty good combination of father and basketball player and Kendrick Davis. On this end for Temple, trying to figure out this zone from Memphis. The 2-3 zone right now is done directing traffic. And both teams have been mixing and matching defenses, especially after dead balls and timeouts. Interesting to watch how each team is prepared for it. And a whistle, a travel for Dunn before the shot. You know, John, you get to see these teams so much, and you watch so much video of them, and then when they switch defenses from their normal man-to-man, -man, it can really create some indecision on your players' parts. And that's what we're seeing today, really, from both teams, as both teams have, been, have employed zone defenses at times. Would that have been a travel in the NBA? <laughs> there's no there's no travel in the NBA, right? Oh, Jaden Hardaway ripping down the net, giving Memphis the one-point lead. Certainly not for LeBron, I know that. I, I know I've seen that move from John Morant. One of the best players in the league just taking over Memphis. Murray State guy. Back the other way. There's battle with the rebound. John Cooch on the roll. Missing at the rim. A great look for Temple. Good read by battle. Caddy trying to go one-on-one. -on -one. Defense converges. There's the kick out. Hardaway. Back-to-back -back threes for Jaden Hardaway. Speaking of fathers and sons, on display. Dunn. He'll step into a three. Short. Hicks is right there on the spot. And the foul. But offensive glass, really active. Zach Hicks with the stick back, just following the ball. All right, Mark, we played almost 10 minutes. This kind of a pace, which team does this favor right now? Favors Temple. I mean, Memphis loves chaos. They love to get up and down. They like to give deflections, get this crowd on their feet. So far, Temple's done a great job of managing this game. Credit Hasir Miller with that leadership on the floor. Number three in black for Temple. 
to a three-point play by Hicks. With Memphis a uh, one-point lead at 10 minutes to play in this first half. Davis getting downhill. And with Davis, just that one three-pointer, he's got three points today. Nobody there on the pick and roll. Turnover to Memphis with numbers. McCannon, oh, hero step. That was cold-blooded. Well, that, that full court pressure has really been effective for Memphis, using a lot of shot clock and stopping the ball at the half court line. Well done. Swinging around the perimeter, seven on the shot clock for the Owls. Battle of contested three. Reynolds was looking for a call on the rebound. It'll be Memphis ball. And McCadden just really athletic attacking. Zero stuck right there. Defenseless. Zach Hicks just gets faked out completely. Wants to try to take the charge, but Cadden takes advantage. Williams goes by the big man. That's just too much speed. DeAndre Williams, he's got nine points to lead all scorers. Memphis starting to ramp up the offense. That's a dangerous pass in a bad spot. Trapped in the corner, deflected out of bounds. It'll stay with Temple. Penny Hardaway is one of the best around at his full court pressure packages. And right there, you're not quite sure when the trap is coming, but Temple, because of that pass, led Memphis into the trap situation. Penetrating, waits for the help. Dump off to Reynolds, but the big man can't handle it. Turnover. Reynolds said throw it up. That's the seventh turnover for Temple this half. And Aaron McKee just watched his point guard, who had a layup, try to pass the ball off and be unselfish, but Hasir Miller has to finish that play. Take it right to the rim. For Memphis, they have 11 points off turnover so far in this first half. That's how they win. Davis put off by Miller. Oh, that's good deep. Give me that. Miller trying to lead the break for Temple. Get it back in this one. Poked away by Williams. Good transition help. DeAndre Williams getting back for Memphis. Yeah, Hasir Miller is one of those unsung heroes. We talk a lot of battle. We talk a lot of done and for good reason. But this kid as a leader, as a point guard, has continued to blossom and improve. Like Memphis wasn't ready on that inbounds and Dunn takes advantage. Yeah, nobody was in a stance. Lock knee defense is just good enough to get you beat. In an out-of-bounds situation. Overplaying for Kendrick Davis. Forced to give it up. Mario Franklin a tough two. Don working one-on-one. -on -one. Tough shot. A great defense by Franklin. He stood his ground. Hit the crossover. Williams cut off. Two men on him. It is physical inside right now, and a loose ball foul is called against Williams on the rebound. Crowd doesn't like it, but what we love. There's that full court pressure again by Memphis. Well, that's oh, Lyon got away with a the travel there. Done. With Davis on his hip, we'll find John Cooch inside. The big man will try to reset, but he's double dribble. Yeah, if, if John Cooch can just catch and shoot at basket range, he's a decent offensive option. But if he has to catch, make a play, dribble, then he's not a good offensive option. For Memphis. There's Lawson in his first touch, and he'll just launch it off the bench and nails the three. Now, the Damian, freshman shot ready. Oh. Damian Dunn did not close on him at all. They showed him no respect. 
Lawson pays off for him and is gaining respect. Hicks, he'll launch from three, halfway down. Here's Williams. Right back to the freshman. Really smart. DeAndre Williams understands Lawson just made his last shot, so fed him again. It's a good, smart basketball decision by DeAndre Williams. What a matchup this is. Battle against Davis. Done with the pump fake. Runner in the lane. That is just composed basketball by Damian Dunn. Damian Dunn and Landers Nolly at Cincinnati, they sell that lift fake as well as anybody in the country. Williams, his three, no good. What a blur. Battle gets down here quickly. Now, Caleb Battle, explosive and decisive. Good combination for a score. And just like that, the lead cut back to two. Davis. Williams plays through the contact. No call. Well, those two are just connected. As the season's going along, Kendrick Davis, DeAndre Williams, they don't coexist. They exist together as a team. That's a team of we right there between those two guys. Battle curling. They run him off the three-point line. Free throw shot. No good. Davis with his head up in transition. Look at Williams. Sky through on the offensive floor. He is blocked. But they call the foul. DeAndre Williams motions to the crowd. Get on your feet. <laughs> and they oblige. Kendrick Davis accelerated past three Temple defenders. And DeAndre Williams, the thing I love about this guy, he never gives up on a play. He sprints the floor. He assumes that every shot is a pass to him. He's got some Rodman in his game, and I love the kid. This crowd loves him. He looked right over at the fans, told him to get up, and they said, let's go. So, John, last year I went to a practice, and DeAndre Williams wasn't playing at the time. It was silent. The next week they came back. It was like a... A rock star walked into the building. Total here's a, energy. Here's our next ACC Big 12 Big Monday doubleheader at 7 Eastern. Isaiah Wong leads number 19 Miami against Amando Baycott in North Carolina at the Dean Smith Center at Chapel Hill. Then, Marcus Carr and number 5 Texas are in Lubbock to take on Texas Tech. Both games are on ESPN and the app. How dangerous is Miami come March? North Chad O'Meara is a player that hardly anybody talks about. Isaiah Long, obviously the marquee player, but North Chad O'Meara is a double-double machine for Jim Laranega. I love his motor, and he's no baseball guy. I like that about him, too. Jordan at the free throw, lowers his shoulder, offensive foul. DeAndre Williams taking the charge. We've witnessed the Swiss Army knife at his game here taking the charge. An offensive rebound on one end that gives energy and he reacts to the crowd. And on the defensive end, gets his feet set, takes the charge right there. DeAndre Williams is an energy giver. How can you not enjoy watching him play? And when he plays under control and out of foul trouble, I mean, one of the most electric players in the country. Feed that man. But he ran with it before he dribbled travel. Yeah, DeAndre was in a hurry on that one. You know, it feels like Memphis has had control of this first half, but it's only a six-point yeah. game. Miller picks up his dribble, needs some help. A deep ball, split splash. You know, John, you always ask the why question. I love that question. So why is Temple still in? Well, when you've got a Caleb Battle, you've got a Damian Dunn, I think a Sear Miller's playing a really good floor game. That's why they stay in games. They're explosive.
Bethel has offensive options. Damian Dunn to Kayla Battle from the Tiger. This year. All the Texas Tech and Oklahoma, the way I see it right now. It is loaded. I've had the privilege of doing several Big 12 games this year, and I mean, it is a privilege. That conference is elite, even from a historical perspective. Davis missing the three. Miller with the rebound. Davis, one for seven from the floor to start this game. He's got three points. Miller, he shakes Davis, but it rolls off. Man, DeAndre Williams is just dominating this game. 13 points, six rebounds. Make that 15 points for the Memphis big man. But Temple has no answer for the energy of DeAndre Williams today. Got Reynolds at the scorer's table set to check back in for Temple. Battle going through the contact, and he will draw the foul. How about DeAndre Williams taking over today? He has just been so good, and he feels it right now. And look, credit Kendrick Davis. You know, Jordan put it best. Like Kendrick Davis, not getting a lot done, but you know, he's deferring to DeAndre Williams. I mean, this is an egoless team. Once upon a time, this was an egocentric team. When they were younger, and they drove Penny crazy, this is a veteran team. And DeAndre Williams, the oldest veteran in college basketball. And when I talked to Coach Hardaway before the game about that, he said, Kendrick Davis trusts me. He listens to me. When there's something on the floor that maybe Davis doesn't see that I do, I'll bring him over, I'll tell him what I see, and then Kendrick Davis just runs with that. That's what's caused his development. He's taken his game to a whole new level. When you're listening to a guy like Penny Hardaway, you know you're going to get better. That's why Davis came here. He wanted to play for one of the great point guards in the history of the NBA. That happened about three weeks ago in a come to Jesus meeting between the two, John, and it's been very, very effective. And look how good Kendrick Davis has been since then. Caddy, throw off his defender, will find Williams. The bunny goes. DeAndre Williams, what a first half. 17 points. Memphis continues to find him. I love that about this team. Davis forces him into a travel. Ten turnover at the half for Temple. Yeah, the difference in this first half has been the mix and match of Memphis full court pressure packages that continues to keep Temple on their heels with only about 20 seconds on the shot clock when they get it across. You know it's amazing when you talk about a score like Kendrick Davis, you think, oh, this guy just wants to do offense. He closed out hard on battle, forced him into that turnover. There's McCadden rising up and finishing. This is a chess match game. And right now, Memphis, with exact hits, knocking it down. Memphis has played strategically very well in this first half. Zach Hicks leads this team in three-point shooting percentage. Does the lead back to four. Davis, and he'll draw the foul inside. Davis will go to the free throw line to shoot two for Memphis. Let's take a look at today's Wendy's Wooden Watch. And we got two of the best point guards in the country in this conference. Kendrick Davis, Memphis, Marcus Sasser for Houston. Uh, Kendrick Davis, a uh, scoring point guard, obviously, has learned how to distribute over six assists per game. Marcus Sasser plays off the ball. He's got the luxury of Jamal Shedd leading the way, making decisions. But Marcus Sasser's so good defensively and offensively as the leader of that Kelvin Sampson team. Now the number two team in the country. He's got to knock down his free throws. One for three at the line. Now two of the four on the day. He's got four points. How do you solve this pressure, full court pressure for Temple? You have to attack more. I mean, you can see the indecision on Temple's face where, where there's a gap. You go ahead and penetrate that gap and get players moving in and out. Two much stagnant players out there for Temple. Bodies on the floor. It's Miller finishing. Lead cut down to three. 120 to play in this first half. But all that said, Temple continues to compete and hang around. Kennedy driving has it stripped by Miller. Done with the steal. 
A five on four for Temple. They push the pace. Miller, he's the open man and makes him pay. Love that kid. Love that kid. What a competitor, Hasir Miller. He has managed the game well for Temple. Under a minute to play, a one point game in this first half. Kendrick Davis off the mark. Royce race for the ball. It's Miller. Protects it will find John Gooch and he traveled. Now John Cooch is just limited. We've already come in the first half, hanging around here at Memphis. All right, so Penny Hardaway called that timeout. What do you want to see out of the Tigers in this possession? Well, it's always simple when you're scouting these guys because Kendrick Davis is going to make a decision and DeAndre Williams is going to set the ball screen. A little two man game here. Seven second differential between shot clock and game clock. Davis looks at Williams and he'll be patient. Now here comes the high ball screen. Cannon attacking and finishing. Boy, well read as the defenders were all looking at Kendrick Davis. Eight seconds to play in the half. Miller going one-on-one. -on -one. He needs some help. Dunn takes a peek at the clock. It's at two. Dunn has it poked away. Memphis ends the half with a turnover. Our score here at the FedEx Forum. Memphis 36, Temple 33. It is time for the halftime report. Penny Hardaway also without two of his stars, Malcolm Dandridge, Alex Lomax, two starters who've been missing for a while for Memphis. That time of year. They start on the block. Akabundu Ehiogu. K.O. kept it simple. And that's effective for Memphis. Got tapped into a gap. Think we had a much better by Temple. The initiator in the first half for Temple. Next, he's forced into a tough three. Man, the length of AL affected that one. The toughest kind. That was a bad shot. Kennedy in transition. There's K on the block. Tipped out of bounds. Stays with Memphis. 6'10 senior. KO after Bundu and Yogu. Didn't play many minutes in that first half, but man, they are featuring him in the second half. He errs nearly three blocks a game at UT Arlington. And his blocks per minute are through the roof here at Memphis. And Rick Davis trying to get going, knocks down a three. He is now two for nine from the floor. His first three of the game, he's got seven. Yeah, but I've seen this movie before as Temple is looking deep now against the zone pressure. Well done. But Kendrick Davis can get on fire in the second half. goes down that leaves Miller open from three maybe too much space there's Davis in transition McCadden couldn't get the handle but Memphis gets it right back with Kennedy they're just sloppy right there Williams just faking his man out rising up Williams with 19 points and a quick timeout by Aaron McKee and Temple Fours of Dunn and Battle. Aaron McKee has a great job of managing the pulse of his team. They were down 19 to 2 to start that game at SMU. Called the timeout, told his guys, wake up, don't panic, we're good. You know he got into his guys there to wake them up. Down by 10 here at Memphis. Here's Hicks going off the screen. Look at Aaron McKee, what he drew up out of that timeout. Yeah, really well done. His Hicks came from the left side to the right side. It was wide open, great screening play by Temple to get him free. Man, we got two of the best head coaches in the conference going at each other here today. Aaron McKee, Penny Hardaway. This is a good one. Throwing it up. Drawing up a play out of the timeout and two great coaches. I concur. Defender falls down. Battle makes some pay with a three ball. 
A veteran team showing no panic on the road. A huge game for Temple after two losses. Huge game for Memphis here at home. Both trying to stay in the race of the American. Williams going against the smaller point guard in Miller. Look at that turnaround, Jay. So smooth for Williams. He's got 21. Memphis makes so many cerebral plays. That was one of them. If DeAndre Williams had a mismatch, and took advantage of it. Talk about maturity for Kendrick Davis. Talk about maturity for Williams. Noticing that mismatch, calmly knocking it down. Done. Cut off baseline by Williams, forced into a turnover. Here's Cedric da Kendrick Davis. And a push called in transition. Foul called against Memphis. With Damian Dunn has to pick it up. He can't show that body language. Just made a mistake and literally walked up the floor. That's just good enough to get you beat, especially here at Memphis. If you're the coach, what do you do with a guy like Dunn when he does something like that? I'd probably bring him over and sit him down for a while. Readjusting. Battle. He steps into a three. Williams, another rebound. For Williams, that's his seventh rebound to go along with 21 points. Davis trying to break down Jordan. Oh! Jordan goes down in pain. Hopefully, he's going to be okay. Comes back up. But a scary scene for Temple. They already down Jaleel White. But it looks like Jordan will be okay. We will take a look at that. Their third option. It's Keontae Kennedy, number one now, shooting the free throws. As over the last six games, he's averaged nearly 15 points and shot over 56 from the three point line. It's not just DeAndre Williams, it's not just Kendrick Davis. Keontae Kennedy has also been a massive contributor over the last 10 games. And you got guys like this stepping up. Look at Davis with the steal on the inbound. Oh, Kennedy trying to yam it. McCadden will clean things up. New full court pressure package coming out of the timeout. Penny Hardaway has been masterful coming out of timeouts today. Largest lead of the game, Memphis up 11. From the wing, the silencer from three. And that's how you get a team out of pressure. You attack, find a three ball. Khalif Battle more than happy to oblige. Caleb Battle, three of five from downtown. He's got 13. Caleb is just so quick with his jump shot. So decisive. I love that about him. Williams will survey the scene. Now they're trying to break down Reynolds. Four on the shot clock for the Tigers. Kennedy, a step back. Three. Oh, with the facial, Keontae Kennedy from downtown. How did he hit that shot? Done. He's got the answer. My goodness, Mark, buckle in. We about to have a good finish here. Tempo did everything right defensively the last possession. They did nothing wrong. It was just a player making a play at the end of the shot clock. Memphis in third place. Temple in fourth place. Winner gets third place by themselves. And there's Davis starting to heat up here in this second half. Yeah, as much as he's struggling in the first half, that's bad news when you're trying to defend him in the second half. All I think is get his attention. Hicks, he'll take a step back three. Ball on the floor. There's Miller poking it away for Temple. Throws it up to the big man, Reynolds, over the back of Davis. And they're going to say foul on the floor, called against Davis. Temple did everything perfect defensively. They're in great position. Zach kicks a hand right in the grill of Keontae Kennedy, who knocks it down. And Damian Dunn says, okay, you can knock one down. I go about Tiger logo as well and knock that thing down. And then Kendrick Davis, second half. Doesn't matter what he did in the first half. He's going to dominate the second half.
He turns it on. Here's our next ACC Big 12 Big Monday doubleheader at 7 Eastern. Isaiah Wong leads number 19 Miami against Amanda Baycott, North Carolina at the Dean Smith Center in Chapel Hill. Then Marcus Carr and number 5 Texas are in Lubbock to take on Texas Tech. Both games are on ESPN and the app. Reynolds, he missed them both. Kendrick Davis starting to hunt his shot more and more. Coach Hardaway pointing out the play. Davis takes a peek at the shot clock. It's at five. Sets his feet. Launches and nails the three. Look out. Here comes Kendrick Davis. 11 points away from setting the record for all-time leading score in the American. For a 13-point separation in Kendrick Davis when he gets it going hard to guard. Inside to Reynolds. Three jerseys on him. Can't finish. That was quite the picket fence that was built around Jameel Reynolds inside. This is danger time for Temple. Memphis is feeling it. And Miller called for the reach in. Here it is. We could have history today. 11 points away from becoming the all-time leading scorer in the American. Kennedy, the hook shot goes. There's that third option. So valuable, Keontae Kennedy. Largest lead of the game. Memphis up 15 on a 7-0 run. Dunn, his pass deflected, Williams with the steal. Euro step in the lane, a floater off the mark, but there's McCadden to reset. Then Williams just stayed with it and got a touch. They go back to Williams, gets away with a push off, can't finish. McCadden! And who have missing time. Malcolm Dandridge, this will be his 14th game. He got hurt in that game in Alabama with his ankle injury. Also, Alex Lomax. How come Memphis doesn't get more love when it comes to consideration? It seems like other teams around the country, they talk, oh, they don't have their stars. we got to consider that. Why does Memphis get that consideration? Brand bias, it's real simple. If you're at Duke, you get a break. If you're at Memphis, you got to prove yourself time and time again. That's the way college basketball works. Shouldn't be that way, but that's the way this thing works. You can't tell me there's not brand bias in the NCAA Tournament Selection Committee. You can't sell me on that. I know you're right, which is why I'm bringing up the point. Memphis needs some more love nationally around the country. When this team is healthy, they could beat anybody. And especially now, Keontae Kennedy, the way he's playing. I mean, this is a diverse offensive team. Damian Dunn trying to get Temple back in it. Draws the foul. He'll go to the free throw line. Memphis on a 9 nothing run right now in the last three minutes. I mean, they can just turn it on so quickly. That's the thing. They've got that spurt ability. That's what I love about a Penny Hardaway team is that they find ways to get you on your heels and then expose you. The other thing this team does better than any one of Hardaway's teams they know who's hot, and they give him the ball. Unselfish Memphis Tigers. Damian Dunn knocks down the first free throw. I think bringing Frank Haith onto the staff, the former American Athletic Conference Coach of the Year, won a conference championship at Tulsa. I think that's been a brilliant hire to bring in such a high-quality head coach like Frank Haith, and he'll be a head coach again. There's so much trust between Haith and Coach Hardaway. Out of timeouts, Haith will see something and he'll tell him, maybe we switch to this, maybe we go to that. 
You're so right, Mark. It seems like he's been the secret weapon for Memphis this year. John, when you coach against a guy who's been uber successful like Frank Hayes, there's the goaltending right there. You you earn that respect through the press, the, the, the professional relationship. These guys really didn't know each other until they came together on staff. But there's that mutual respect of great head coaches. Frank Hayes only early in the year. He had options. He could have yep. gone to a lot of programs, but he met with Coach Hardaway, believed what he is building here, and wanted to be a part of it. As Miller, his runner goes. I'd hire Frank Hayes in a heartbeat. I saw what he did to Tulsa without the resources of a lot of other programs in this conference when he was there. 15-point lead for Memphis. Kendrick Davis plus the foul. You know, John, we were sitting here at halftime talking about how Kendrick Davis had not played well, had not shot well. And we talk about second half, how he was going to put that to bed. He's got a short memory about however he might have played the last minute. And then he comes out with guts blazing here in the second half. Such a dynamic talent. the three-point play. So Kendrick Davis, who had four points at the half, now is up to 15 on the game. Battle. That's the big man, Reynolds. Man, they got to get him involved with him. Well, Battle is so quick with the basketball. And Jamil Reynolds, a big key for this team. He's not in great shape right now. He's coming back off the injury. But big number four gives them a space eater inside. There he is, backed up with Davis. And then he dropped it off to nobody. Here's the steal. Temple, three on two. Miller will finish. There's no quit in these hours. Yeah, I'm not ready to write the obituary yet. And Aaron McKee jumps off the bench, excited. Forcing Memphis into a timeout. We still got a ball game. A lot of time left. You know you got to have it. Sign up today. ESPNplus.com slash AAC or download the ESPN app. John, you mentioned that fifth spot, which allows for a bye in the American Athletic Conference Tournament. I think Cincinnati and UCF right now with their schedules coming down the stretch have a little bit of an edge to maybe get into that fifth spot. Out of the timeout, Hardaway with the miss. The top half of the American is really good this year. Now Cincinnati with West Miller, they continue to get better. They won the other night against USF without Victor Rock and his It's Zach not over yet. Zach kicks with a three ball. Temple shooting over 50% from downtown today. Temple goes back to sit in their zone wide. They don't want Kendrick Davis to get off off the dribble. Williams in the heart of the D. There's Reynolds skying high for the board. That battle was enough of a pest defensively to DeAndre Williams. Here come the Owls. Battle with a three. And Temple right now on a 10-0 run. Uh, Caleb Battle is a pest in all the right ways. Davis splits defenders, rolls out. Temple bench wants them to push the pace. 10 nothing run for the Owls. Here's Miller. Reynolds against Williams. Banging bodies, turns and face. Oh, what a hook shot by the big man. A 12 nothing run for Temple. The lead is cut to six. All Memphis defenders were cheating out towards shooters, which gave Reynolds a lot of space inside. Got off Davis sidesteps the big man and in. Looked like Reynolds actually tapped it in. Looked like he blocked that shot. Davis now six points away from the record. Chance of defense. Bat it away. Stays with the owl shot clock at ten. Battle. Good D by Kennedy. Double teamed. And a foul is called as Battle draws contact. Oh, what a ball game. 
Eight point lead for Memphis, just over seven minutes to play. The former Temple out. So Caleb Battle goes to the line, he nails the first of two. One thing you can never deny about this Temple team, they got that Philly toughness. They were down big here in the second half. Over the last three minutes, they've gone on a 13-2 run. Make that 14-2. So we talked about Kendrick Davis in the open. Having that big shot knocked down Gene. And you know what? Caleb battles the same way. He comes through huge in overtime games. Late game situation. Now they're matched up mono a mono. Chandler Lawson on the floor for Memphis. Temple in a full face guard on Kendrick Davis. Battle matched up with him. He don't want, to, want Kendrick Davis to even catch it. And there he gets it. Lawson on, excuse me, Davis on the handoff, missing. Dunn sheds his defender. Lewis helped D by Hardaway. Hardaway quick to respond. This Memphis defense closes on the ball. Look at all the jerseys just surround the basketball. They close so well and rotate so well. Jordan slipping three. The largest lead was at 18 for Memphis. It's now down to four. Everybody followed Caleb Battle off the screen, which left the wide open as the Red Sea parted inside. Jumper good. For oh, Hardaway, he's got eight points now off the bench for Memphis. Well, they went into overtime in Philadelphia. As much as Temple hangs around, you're kind of feeling the same thing. Hicks rising up. DeAndre Williams with the board for Williams. That's his eighth rebound to go along with 21 points. Got a mismatch inside, and they overthrow DeAndre Williams, who was matched up with Battle. They do call the foul as Battle pushed off against Williams. For Battle, that's just his first. Well, Memphis really brings that NBA pedigree offensively of recognizing mismatches. Kind of Penny Hardaway, and his background is one of the great point guards in the history of the NBA. Inside, denied by Hicks and Jordan. Hicks, he's got four fouls. He had to back off and let Williams get in for another two. Williams just never stops. He's omnipresent, giving his energy to his team. Hardaway matched up a battle on full denial. Miller, he sheds his defender, knocks down the J. Hasir Miller. Key challenges his guy. When you got a good game like this, they are just getting out of the way. Under five minutes to play here in Memphis. Tigers with a six-point lead. Temple falls back into zone. I like the move by Aaron McKee. Memphis confused. Williams pointing things out. He wants them to go to the other side of the court. Cutting his heart away and a miscommunication turnover. That's an Aaron McKee turnover. The one zone right there confused Memphis. They came out ready for some ball screen action for Kendrick Davis. Temple mixes matches defense. They get another possession. Well done by Coach McKee. Some space, his jumper off the mark. Now you push it so the defense can't get set. But Memphis slow to bring it up. I put DeAndre Williams right on the high post. Look at the, the dead spot in that zone and get him a touch. This is Lawson. He turns it over. 
battle. Pounded by Davis, and he'll commit the foul. That's his third personal. Under four minutes to play, Memphis up by six. Day night. Out of the timeout, Battle going to work. His reverse lane, no good. And Battle is still down on his back behind the play. Five on four for Memphis right now. And they now stop it as Battle is down. Battle, who leads the way today with 18 points, four of six from downtown, came down hard after that play. Mark, let's take a look. Yeah, McKee did a good job of getting his best score of the ball. He comes through. He just comes down on his backside. Stayed down for a long time. Now, I was surprised at how easily Battle was able to catch that basketball, and now he's going to stay in the game. Well, I believe they have to bring him out of the game. So they have to go to the bench yeah, because they stopped stop play for his injury. They have to bring him out of the game. And Nick Jordan will come back in with four personal fouls. The key here is he's capable of staying in the game, although showing some indications of some pain. But he's a gamer. Wants to get back in. Next dead ball, he will be in. Here's the zone from Temple. Catch by McCadden. We'll find Williams from the corner. Three ball is good. DeAndre Williams with 26 on the game. 26, 26 points, 10 rebounds. Another double double for DeAndre Williams. Miller finds an open Jordan, and he gets the bucket and the foul. Hasir Miller again. Gets into the gap, makes the simple clap pass inside to Jordan, and Jordan finishes. Aaron McKee talked to a point guard about how can you set the table for them? How can you communicate with them? How can you challenge them? Right there, Jordan steps the open space, and the point guard is Sear Miller with a big time assist. What how about the line for Sear Miller? 15 points, six rebounds, and five assists from your point guard. Yeah, Aaron McKee told him your job is to ruffle feathers, challenge your teammates. It's exactly what he's doing. A six point lead for Memphis. And now Temple goes man to man, switching up the defenses. Dodger Miller's got a mismatch with Battle. There it is. Backdoor cut, Hardaway all alone for the lay-in. Hasir Miller became ball-centric, staring at the ball. Hardaway makes the basketball cut to the rim. Hardaway in double figures, he's got 10 points off the bench. Running the play for Hicks. He will rise up, his three ball is short. Was that the shot Temple was looking for? You can always second guess. But now they just gotta play defense. Temple still has a foul to give. Davis, change of speed. That one blocked by Hicks. Williams still poking it around. Two on the shot clock for Memphis. Did they beat the buzzer? They're going to stop the play and check it. As right now, they count it. But the officials are going to go to the monitor to see if they beat the shot clock. It looked good in real time, but the real play was DeAndre Williams never giving up on the ball and somehow tipping it out to a teammate, then receiving it back for the assist. I think this basket is good is what I saw in real time. Look at this effort. Watch DeAndre Williams. Two black jerseys, but Williams gets to the ball. That ball, that basket's good. It looks like it got out of the hands of yeah. Austin before the light went off. Okay. Right. 
thank goodness, look. thank goodness we have officials that are making sure they get it right versus relying on me right now. That ball's out of his hand. There goes the shot clock. There you go. That pass is good. So have to go to the mound and officials confirm. Bucket is good. What a play by DeAndre Williams. After the run by Temple, Memphis has answered. Four of their last field goals from this end have gone down for their last five. And the lead back up to ten. Miller penetrating, working against Davis short. McCadden tracks it down. Player of the year candidate Kendrick Davis with sterling defense on that possession. Davis sensing this one. He'll just slow the game down. Yeah, run another defender out. Get it out of his hands. That's door cut by a coach's son and the coach's son understands as soon as the defense turns their head on you you go back cut that's the second time he's done that over the last couple of minutes coach's sons know how to play Jaden Hardaway perfect execution DeAndre Williams his line for the night 26 points seven rebounds six assists excuse me 11 rebounds six assists Unbelievable performance by DeAndre Williams. Hard to press him. Dunn has to commit the foul to stop the clock. For Dunn, that is his fourth personal. Boy, there are no moral victories in February. Either you win or you lose. Temple has laid it all on the line here. They've played a tremendous road game here, but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough. Although I've seen stranger things happen. I mean, think about the last three games for Temple. We were at that game at Houston. They had the lead at the half, but Houston came out strong. They lost on Wednesday by one to SMU. Here they are, down by 12, just over a minute to play. Battle, pushing off, gets to the rack, cuts the lead back to 10. And Temple will call a timeout. Well, you got to like guys that understand game situation, time and score, and Caleb Battle will push off right there. Timeouts, down by 10. You can't guard him. You can't press him. Oh, not a dribbling play. Kendrick Davis. Oh, wait. One minute. One minute to play here in Memphis. Can Davis is getting back to me. And Jordan, he will commit the foul. That is his fifth. You can't press him. He's a one-man press break. Look at this. He's engaged with four different Temple defenders and beaten all of them off the dribble. Jordan fouling out. Reynolds comes back in. It'll be Lawson going to the line to shoot. And that was a good foul. Lawson misses the front end. We're not done yet. That's the 6 of 12 from the free throw line today. Battle leaning in. Gets his own board. Back up. And he's fouled. Caleb Battle is so good in late game situations. In Temple's two overtime wins, Battle went for nine points in overtime in one game and seven points in overtime in the other. He understands when they need him to score. And right now is the opportune time for Caleb Battle to score whenever he can. Battle, a perfect 4-4 four, four from the free throw line. 5-5. Five of five. At UCF. Overtime, he goes for nine. Versus USF, overtime, goes for seven. 
This kid has a flair for the dramatic. And he nails them both. Lead back to single digits. And John Cooch will commit the foul against Davis. For Davis, three of six from the free throw line today. 85% on the season, so I guess that means he's due to make a few. percent free throw shooter you can't press him so valuable in late game situations makes them both he is four points away from history temple needs a quick one and reynolds missed at the rim Dunn will commit the foul. What a performance by the Memphis Tigers today. So, John, what did we learn today about the Memphis Tigers? In the first half, DeAndre Williams absolutely carried this team. In the second half, Kendrick Davis stepped up along with DeAndre Williams and times Keontae Kennedy and positioned this team now firmly in the top three of this conference and still have two games against Houston. They're two games back in the loss column. And next Sunday, it will be Memphis at Houston on our network. And on the national stage, when you think about the bubble picture, right now, currently, Joe Lenardi has Memphis as the last four in. This was a must-win game for Memphis as Davis nails the free throw. Davis, two points away from the record. Clutch. Got 21 points on the game. Battle draws the foul and the bucket. There is no quick Caleb battle. Well, this kid is just a baller. Battle, 25 points, four of six from downtown, go along with five rebounds. They won't foul it. Memphis will dribble this one out. A huge win for the Memphis Tigers. Kendrick Davis with 21. DeAndre Williams at 26. Memphis 86, Temple 77. Mark Adams and our entire ESPN crew on hand here in Memphis. I'm John.